So, welcome back guys to Divinity 2 Developer's Cut on the Nightmare Difficulty. We are back right where we left off last episode. And last episode we, I said, we wanted to go and see what's in the broken down chapel. This is the altar with the hidden lever that opens the door to the tunnel. Pull the lever. Down you go. Okay. Let's see what awaits us here. Okay, lesser skeleton level 4. We dealt with this guy's last episode as well. I can't. But now we do more damage, like you can see, and that's really nice. So these guys aren't a problem anymore. That's really convenient. But I suppose there are some stronger enemies over here as well. And oh, when you see these. Uh, uh, yellow uh, numbers popping up, that means the mana leech ability that's enchanted on this bow activates, so we get some mana back, and that's really nice. Um, because if we have a really long fight, um, we might need to wait or replenish our mana, mana pool, because we run out of mana. So, um, as you can see, the chest I couldn't open as well because of missing lock picking points. <laughs> um, that's not good. And I will uh, try to get some more points. Let's just quick save here because. If I remember correctly. Ah, maybe, maybe there's no trap in here. Yeah, if we do some decent damage, I can dodge them, him quite easily. Okay, there's a trap in here. Okay, that's good that I quick saved. Spam my stun arrows without having to worry about running out of mana. That's nice. This is very nice. <laughs> so, over here there was just some miscellaneous loot, nothing major, and a sneaky trap set up by these skeletons. And some more skeletons, but only a lesser skeleton that's getting stuck on some mushrooms. That's nice because I can regenerate some health. If I reach level 6, um, I will skill another, uh, put another point in the yet. Just stun him. Nice. There's also another skill in the skill tree, Mana Leech. That skill is actually really OP if you are playing dual wielding. Uh, single-handed weapons, which is actually the highest damage uh, weapons you can pick. That's because of scaling and the fact that enchantments uh, do their full damage even if they wield it offhand. So the balancing with uh, dual wielding in this game is uh, done like that. Uh, these weapons on its own they do less damage than a bow. Or in dual uh, uh, double hand weapon, what? But you can wield two of them, so therefore it should make up for that. Uh, but the skill you need to put some points into dual wielding, otherwise your offhand weapon will do only five percent or ten percent damage, depending on how many points you put into it, and therefore it's supposed to be balanced, but it's not. Because in the late game, it goes up to uh, more than 100% on both hands. So, and if you reach that, that stage, uh, the enchantments kick into full use, and the damage is just a lot higher than it would be with any other weapons or weapon in the game. I can't. 
So, as I expected, um, these guys pose quite a challenge. It seems like this outcast goblin shaman can heal himself. Which is, yeah, okay, I killed him, that's nice. Not yet. Playing Archer isn't the most fun way to play this game, but it's uh, the most effective in the early game on a higher difficulty. Okay, we managed to kill all of them, that's nice, but we still have some mana issues. But I suppose we can handle that. Maybe we need to use a potion in the near future. Um, but I know where to go, and that's why I went here. I hope at least I remember correctly. There's another way, but we need to go that way anyway later. First, we need to go here and free the prisoner, which will try to help us, I think, in the fights, which will be very necessary. Okay, yeah, let's see. It seems like some old, uh, like I'm not getting broken, in. broken down prison. Shiny. So there's a key, for the door, and there's a chest with Shiny. very, very miscellaneous loot. That doesn't help me at all. But eight gold, eight gold, so I take it. And I don't think there's anything I else in lose. here. It's locked. This one's locked as well. But we can go here and there's a ladder. So let's see. To the barracks. What? Who who are you? How did you get in here? That's not important right now. Just follow me. Not so fast. How do I know this is not a trick? Do you want to spend ten years in here wondering about that, or do you want to get out? Get out, I guess. Okay, I'll I'll follow. See, mind reading there's nothing, so we won't do it. For the first time when I entered here, as you can see, there is a prison guard. We are in the tower in the village. Very nice. Um, I couldn't find a way to get out because there's a gate in the floor and you don't enter to this, I suppose. But over here, there are some level 2 goblins that are not a problem. I don't know why they spawned these guys in here because, as you can see, they don't even give you experience points anymore. But uh, I suppose that's fine. Um, but the enemies will get a lot harder. Right uh, when we are at the way we came, because when we head straight on, um, yeah, the real challenge begins, I, th I, th I suppose. He will follow you and. That's where we came from. If we try to leave this way, which would be a reasonable choice, because we want to get him out of here, there are some convenient rocks that fall down and block the way. So that's we can't go that way anymore. Shiny. Loot this one. This one, this. And there's a gate, and we couldn't open it our, on our own. But uh, he has uh, a way to open it. Very random, but that's fine. This guy's empty. And here's another secret. I'll show you in this just a second. After I kill these goblins. But Martus, our friend that we just freed, will help us. That's very nice of him. <laughs> Conveniently, if you enter, uh, go back through that door, a de aggro, that's nice. Okay, let's just let him fight there, and here's a little secret. Here's a wall that looks out of place, and there's an obvious pressure plate here. I, I mentioned obvious, 
and then here's another room. Another so just some black ore vein, be really cool. But maybe there's something better in here. What could that be? Ah, some gold, that's nice. Oh, oh what's over here? A skill book? Oh, that's nice. Okay, we got a skill book. That's, that's very nice. And it's in the kind of, uh, can just kind of, uh, <laughs> under the consumables tab, and we can put another point into lock picking. That's nice. And we could go backtrack and open some chests, or at least try to open some chests. Maybe level 3 will suffice for that. Here are two ways, but there are enemies, so let's see what this way holds. Goblin Chief aggros onto me. Rather fight the shaman, but that's nothing I can do. Forty-four XP. That's not good, but I suppose. And there's just a random dragon skeleton in here. However, the dragon got in here, and we can Another exit through there. The but connection. first, let's go the other way. <laughs> Maybe mm. there are some secrets. Mm. There's a chest up there. Mm. Another one to add in major. Two chests over there, nothing. I had some more goblins, that's nice. Experience points are always great. Now it would be great if Mana Leech would activate another time. Okay, and actually we are really close to leveling up again. And... There's a Trouble Goblin Chief. And the way is blocked. But then health potions mm. are worth it. Let's just roll away. Rolling, 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 rolling. Came from there, and then we went here, and then we backtracked. So, just besides the dragon skeleton, we come out somewhere. We've already been. Let's pull the lever and see where we end up. There you are. What took you so long? You were in a hur hurry to get out. Wouldn't you? Those seekers don't shy away from creative interrogation. I can tell you that. But tell me, who are you really, and why did you help me escape? Okay, now we have two options. We could either tell him the truth. Which would be the first option. Lieutenant Lewis asked me to get you out, gain your trust and locate your camp. Uh, or I could say I overheard some seekers boasting about the incinner incarnation of a bandit, so I decided to help that bandit out. So I think we take the second option, because I always take the first option whenever I do a quick playthrough, because I just spam one on the dialogue options uh, to skip everything and use the first option. So I take the second one. I overheard some seekers boasting about the incarceration, incarceration of a bandit, so I decided to help that bandit out. But why? Um, okay, I've always wanted to take part in the adventurous life of a band of outlaws, or I was sure a freshly escaped man would show a lots, lots of material gratitude. Let's take the second one. 
I was sure that the freshly escaped man would show a lot lots of material gratitude. Spoken like a true bandit. I don't have gold on me, but back in the camp I'm a black market trader. You'll always get a discount, rest assured. Our camp is left of a mine. Go there and find a hidden entrance. You'll also need the password. It's beetroot. I can't thank you enough, stranger. I hope I'll see you in the camp. Okay. So when we look at our lockbook. I think it's the crystal school. I know the location of a bandit can and the password as well. I can now inform lieutenant the lieutenant or travel to the camp and enter. And if we tell the lieutenant there are some quests we can't finish mm. because they are in the bandits hideout. So therefore mm. I won't tell him, won't get the quest reward, but I will make it will be worth it in the long run because um we have some quests to do there. So over here we were supposed to get these crates over there. Hail Slayer, the new order greets you. And the Dragon Slayers you. It is good to see our two orders engage in cordial traffic. So tell me, how can I be of assistance? So now we need to get these guys away from the crates to um fulfill the quest Richard gave us. So if I remember correctly, there are two op options. There's a peaceful one, and there's an option where we kill these guys. So, uh, because this is nightmare difficulty, uh, I will try to get the dialogue options to kill them. If I don't make it, I don't make it. So, let's take the second option. You could stand aside while I claim this food. What? I'll do no such thing. The new order has pledged Rivertown it would deliver these crates. I'm afraid I must insist. Steady, Slayer. We'll not stand down. Then I'm sorry for you. So be it. So, of course, that's cruel mm. of me. And in any role playing mm. uh, scenario, I would mm. uh, not okay. kill these guys. But this is nightmare difficulty, like I said. And I need to look out for myself. And if I kill these guys, I get a new another level up, which will help me. So therefore, they got to go. And in the long run, they would die anyway, sooner or later. And if you played this game before, you know it's rather sooner than later. So if I kill them now, they at least have an honorable uh, fight with me uh, and die in combat. Which Isn't the worst, I think. And a level up, that's nice. And it's the last one. Set up for others. Major. And we can skill some HP. Mindless HP spamming, that's nice. And now we could put another point into lock picking. Is it worth it? I don't know, guys. Is there anything else that would be. Really good for us right now with the single skill point. Difficult to say. There's wisdom. The skill gives me more experience points, but just a minor amount. I don't think it's worth it. There's mind read. It costs less experience to read mind read people, but that's also not too good. I think summon undead. It's kind of useful, useless on level one. But uh, let's just take lock picking and get more damage later. How hmm. about that? And now we hmm. need to talk to the bird watching guy that's hmm. just randomly standing around here, waiting for me to complete this quest. Hmm. Yeah, over there he is with the golden bird question mark. What, nice. what now? May I join the bird watching? Just get out of here. What now? That's not it. I was able to remove the soldiers guarding the crates. Make sure you don't trip over their bodies. You killed New Order soldiers. <laughs> That's no small feat. All right. I'll see to the food. You can tell Richard everything will be taken care of. Catch you later. Okay. Mm. I, I think we pulled the lever. Yes, we did. 
And now I think it's time to head back to the upper part of the village and maybe look at some different areas. Uh, maybe the the bar, the restaurant, I don't know. Um, that's another part where we haven't been yet. And then there's also, and if we look at our logbook, there is the quest Chasing the Dragon, where we need to inquire information, acquire information about the sightings of a dragon that suppose some people here know about. So maybe she knows. She doesn't know. Maybe he knows. He doesn't know. Maybe she knows. Have you seen the dragon? He. I, I. Okay. Have you learned? Have you seen a dragon in this here valley? My. Have you seen a dragon in this here valley, my lady? Indeed, I have. When I was on patrol with Lieutenant Lewis, we saw it high up in the vicinity of the Locks Temple. Tell me, to what guild do you belong? The New Order, Rivertown's finest. Our order was established after the Great War in honor of the Fallen Divine. Members are called Seekers because we spend our lives in personal search, searching and attempting to embody the ideal that is the Divine. But that does not mean that we are merely some sort of ecclesiastical order. We are warriors, above all, who serve and protect Rivalon. Why is the new order here in Broken Valley? There is a famine in Rivertown because of two consecutive failed harvests. That is why a delegation of seekers under the command of Lieutenant Lewis was sent here to claim food stock. I think we pretty much have what we need now, and I'm confident we'll be returning home quite soon. I should go. Please excuse me. By all means. Okay, so now we found one person to... I found the first villager without a dragon. Two more to go. Maybe... Stan. Good day, Slayer. Good day. How's life treating you? Not all that bad, though I'm starting to miss my usual seat in bar there. Then why don't you go back in? Problem is, my young friend, some of them seekers are in Black Boar. Making an awful ruckus and behaving right badly, that lot is. Me and Ollie ain't not going back till them rowdy no-gooders is gone, I can tell you that. Okay, he doesn't know. But maybe Ollie knows. Hello there, Slayer. Good Let to see you. see you. I've got me something to tell you, Slayer. I've seen a dragon. Oh, for Pete's sake. Never mind him. I know what I saw. I believe you. Tell me all about it. Last night I was looking out my window and I saw this great big beast in the sky. Right scared I was, so I hid in the closet. Where exactly was this dragon when you saw it? Way back in the valley. Now go get the bleeding bugger slayer, that's what you're here for, right? I'm telling okay. you, Stan, I... And now, lockbook, I found the second so villager. Nice, so that's, going, that's going quickly. Never have I met such disgusting, such perverts. Funny is a perfectly nice name, whatever the connotation. Whatever she says. Mm. Mm. Your beers again, sir? Tell me, pretty. You in charge of the bedding, too? No, no, I I'm just a waitress. Then why don't you wiggle back for some more ale, eh? Okay, these guys are making noise in here, so let's dispatch of them. Horrible seekers! I never saw such boorish behavior in my life! Would you like me to show them the door? Oh, would you, Slayer? Thank you so much! Okay, let's see. Anthony. Uh, wh what? Who are you? A dragon slayer. Well, a slayer? That... a... who are you? Didn't your mother ever tell you to treat women nicely? Oh, but Elsa of the inn... I don't know where to begin. You bring me the finest beer. I want to unhinge your brizzy. <laughs> you seekers are in desperate need of an etiquette lesson. This here slayer wants some bruises, guys. Seekers! What in the name of the divine is going on in here? Sir! Well, sir, we... <laughs> You're blind drunk! This is an outrage! Slayer, tell me what transpired here. Mm, let's see. Your esteemed seekers got drunk and nasty. When I confronted them, they became violent. Inebriation. 
disrespectful conduct and use of force. You men are a disgrace to our order. Get back to the barracks on the double. I love how they're just running around while he's talking. Great. We can talk further in the barracks. I'm heading there now. Okay, let's talk to him. The lieutenant sure get done in here, folks. I told you they'd soon be history. And you kept your word. I'll make sure my prices drop each time you happen to fancy some of my wares. Elsa and I are right great for you. You're always welcome in the Black Door. Great. Let's take gold. Let's mind read him. Nothing will come from that. But whatever. He just oh, lowered his prices. The tavern is back to normal. Yes. Folks are coming back in and the atmosphere is wholesome again. Let's see what you have for sale. Of course. Let's see what he can give us. He can give us literally nothing. Just a potion of revitalization. Okay, that's uh, that's fine, I suppose. Um, let's see. Small box. He doesn't mind, I think. No, 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 no you don't mind. Let's see what's up in here. Shiny. Give me all your money. Thank you. Good day, young slave. What can this man of medicine do for you? Uh, tell me, why are you wearing that strange copper hat? Simple protection. Protection from what exactly? The insidious art of mind reading. And how many people have this insidious gift? Not many, only slayers and dragons, in fact. Seeing as how dragons are nearly extinct and slayers small in number, the chances of your mind being read are quite small. You never know, slayer. Better safe than sorry. Why? Do you have something to hide? Oh, no, 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 no. Someone could um, steal valuable medicinal recipes. Yes, that's, that's the reason. That's definitely the reason, yes. Uh, okay, let's let's just see what he has for sale. Ah, no, no, no. First, first mind read him. No, just lower his prices. 133 experience points. You receive a nasty little shock. Yes, the device works. Nice try, Slayer. I can see the potions. Can I see the potions here for sale? Okay. Here's a belt. That's not good. Here's a lot of potions. That's very good. But for now we don't need them, but we will come back to him at some point. Some guys over here. Tavern door, what's in here? Maybe some gold? No. But here's an exclamation mark. Let's brave Sir Robin. Let's see. Hmm? Who you to disturb my musings? I'm a dragon slayer. A slayer? Hmm. The title is impressive, but from the looks of you. We've never seen a dragon other than in books or on tapestries. And what makes you so high and mighty that you'd belittle a slayer? You see that giant boar's head mounted over the hearth? That beast terrorized the valley and claimed the lives of many huntsmen before I killed it some years back. And that is what makes me Rivalon's best hunter. But off with you now. I don't enjoy conversations with amateurs. Kinda cocky of him, just to uh, belittle me. He will he get what he deserve. The hunting records of Sir Robin. Let's let's before we end the episode, we have one more minute. Let's just see. I've never read this book. It might be interesting. <coughs> Three hundred and sixty nine goblins and counting. I will eventually blot out those nasty bl blemishes on our once fine lands. Richard pays superbly for the hearts, that's for sure. Nineteen rabbits. I recently heard a whisper, whisper about killer rabbit. What nonsense. One giant black boar. What a feat that was. No one can match it. I am the unrivaled, most victorious hunter in Broken Valley. I hear the gasp from all that visit the black boar tavern and admire the head of the deadly beast. 56 undead. In the ground, out of it again. In the ground, out of it again. Annoying things. 56 kills and it was my dead brother-in-law again, each and every time. 
bloody Belliger and his bloody jokes. Okay, Belliger. We will meet him later. Interesting. Never read this book before. So guys, the Black Boar Inn is back to normal. And I suppose we can end the episode right now. I think maybe... Well, let, let's just go down there to get this, uh, a, a nice thumbnail. Okay, we did a lot more stuff, but this won't spoil anything. And it looks very cool here. Yes, pretty nice. So, see you guys next episode. Bye.